Yeah, Donna, tonight many of the details around the suspect's life remain shrouded in mystery. I spoke to a number of his friends who live in this community who say they are in shock, but also in disbelief. They say they never had any inkling that their friend could allegedly be capable of carrying out such an atrocity. Could have been. I would never have believed that he could have done something like this at all. Anyone else I would have believed could do this, but Nate not at all. Yeah, why do you say that? It's just not his personality. Like, at all. Like, this is quite a shock. Armand Moradporian has known the suspect, Nathaniel Veltman, for several years and last saw him just three weeks ago. They worked together in the shipping department at this egg farm in the nearby community of Strathroy. London police visited the plant Tuesday afternoon. Moradporian's family is from Iran and he was raised to be a Muslim, but says the suspect never appeared to take issue with that. Like, he never, ever thought twice about it. Like, me and him were great friends. He helped me out a lot when I was going through a lot of rough stuff. No one answered the door at his parents' home. Friends say he'd had a fight with his family and moved out a few years ago. His grandmother passed away on Friday. Morad Porian says the suspect had been arrested before for public intoxication, but otherwise was a devout Christian who mostly stayed out of trouble. He's a quiet, friendly, homeschooled Christian kid, literally. And that is now a question for police investigators to answer. How does a so-called quiet, friendly Christian kid become an alleged mass murderer? We have scoured his social media accounts online and turned up very little. The accounts didn't have much in the way of content at all. Police say he had no criminal record, no known ties to any hate group. And at this point, Donna, they believe he was working alone. Okay, Jeff Semple in London, Ontario. Thanks.